The subtitle for the Hungarian Heritage Program is Roots to Revival. So we're looking at older traditions as well as contemporary traditions in Hungary today. My name is Jim Deutsch. I'm the co-curator for the Hungarian Heritage Program. And my name is Agnes Fülemila. I'm from the Hungarian side, also co-curating the Hungarian program. I would say the average person in the United States knows very little about Hungary, or really most of, most of Central Europe. It's, it's a relatively small country by U.S. standards. It's roughly the size of the state of Indiana, but it's really at the heart of Central Europe. And being at this crossroads of Central Europe, Hungary has, been, has had many significant influences. We are expecting to have roughly 100 musicians, dancers, craftspeople, cooks, bearers, active bearers of Hungarian culture and Hungarian heritage. In the last two decades of socialism in Hungary, there is a very strong revival movement. Those generations of musicians and dancers and craftsmen practically pilgrimaged to the original localities, learning the authentic expressions and practicing uh, these traditions gave a very special opportunity uh, for this young generation to express their own straightforward identity and their criticism of socialism. One of our most important venues for the Hungarian Heritage Program is our Danubia stage. So on our Danubia stage you will see a very wide variety of contemporary music and dance performances. We decided to put together a selected team of excellent young dancers with some excellent lead choreographers. They are experts keenly dealing with authentic material. There will be a whole group of young musicians playing mostly string in instruments from Transylvania, Romania, where there are also many Hungarians live and, and it's a kind of reservoir of traditional culture. We will bring also singers from the field and from, from the revival uh, scene as well. We try to bring some good klezmer. Bob Kahn, who is a, an American musician who 15 years ago ended up in Hungary and decided to establish his own music band, Denaya Capellia. We'll have a selection of 30 35 craftspeople. Many of them are prized masters of folk art. We would like to represent some heritage communities who we represent one of the most famous folk art regions of Hungary, such as Kalota Sags or Kalocha, with their very colorful, vibrant costumes and embroidery. We hope that partly we can create an atmosphere of a real country fair, but at the same time, this uh, tradition is not just a question of past, it's, it's still a source of inspiration in our daily life, and we try to bring uh, two fashion designers who redreamed, reinterpreted dress traditions. There will be many interactive craft uh, activities, family activities offered for the children. There's also a food waste demonstration area featuring some of the best examples of Hungarian cuisine. We're going to have a cauldron for cooking in the open air. Uh, some great Hungarian recipes. Uh, you've probably heard of Hungarian goulash or chicken paprikash. Uh, all of those will be featured in our food waste area. There is an enormous opportunity to see us personally, meet us personally. We'll try to show uh, being faithful to the title Roots to Revival, really show from where we started and, and where we might end up.